Imagine investing $1 billion into a grand project year after year for a whole decade, only to pull the plug at the very last minute. Well, that's exactly what Apple did with its highly anticipated automotive project. To think of it, the initial plans were quite interesting. An electric car with a level 4 plus system, no steering wheel, and an autonomous auto drive control. But where exactly did they go wrong? For many reasons, this was supposed to be a next-generation project with the potential to reshape the automotive industry. So, how did Apple end up with a billion-dollar failure? And why the last-minute change of plans? Before we get started, kindly drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Project Titan It's not quite surprising that Apple decided to give up their EV dreams after dedicating so much to the project. During the early days of the project, the self-driving car encountered many problems right from the get-go. Unfortunately, it never got past the prototype stage. Despite deploying fleets of test cars on American roads with self-driving technology, the tech giant found itself struggling with the complexities of autonomous vehicle development. As the cost continued to increase and the electric vehicle market witnessed a downturn with reduced prices, Apple made the decision to pull the plug on its EV dreams completely. However, if you observe this move very closely, you will notice something similar in other big car industries like Ford and General Motors, who have called back their electrification projects due to reducing demand and unstable sales across the United States. Meanwhile, the EV giants like Tesla, Volkswagen, and Mercedes predicted significantly lower EV sales anticipating a sharp decline in electric vehicle sales growth from 47% in 2023 to around 11% in 2024. Come to think of it, what about all those employees who dedicated their lives into this project? At least there were reports about Apple employing over 5,000 workers at the start of the project. However, before the recent reports to call off the project, the number had reduced to around 2,000. As a result, hundreds and thousands have been sent off. Just recently, Apple's chief operations officer, Jeff Williams, and the company's vice president of technology, Kevin Lynch, reportedly broke the news to the team in a 12-minute meeting, leaving no room for questions. Just like that, the grand vision fizzled out without a concrete goal. The EV project endured multiple restarts and course corrections over the years. They experienced downgrades in plans over the years as well, with the initial launch date slated for 2026 to a new ultimatum slated for 2028. From creating fully autonomous Level 4 systems to the recent Level 2 plan and now ending up with nothing. Following extensive deliberations among Apple's executives, the decision to terminate the project was made in early February marking a complete end to one of the company's biggest moves in a new product category. Will this be the end to Apple's EV story? Or will the company revisit the plan in the future? The Fallout Project Titan started off a decade ago, but looking back, it is clear the success was a distant dream from the get-go. With no clear roadmap in sight, the project seemed destined to fail. Over the years, the team found themselves constantly shifting plans, moving from one strategy to the next. However, reality soon set in, and the team had to change their massive plan to create the next-generation electric vehicle. At one point, they wanted to create a simple vehicle that would hit the market by 2028. One of the most disappointing tasks on the project agenda was creating a top-of-the-line processor for Apple's new car, a chip unlike any other engineered to handle AI workload needed for self-driving capabilities. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. The team also had to create many sensors, from radar to cameras, and integrate them seamlessly into the vehicle's hardware and software. They wanted a car with four inward-facing seats, so the passengers could chat face-to-face -face while cruising. Later on, they decided to create a conventional vehicle with a standard two-row layout and easy self-driving abilities. The plan was to create an electric car with complex technology and more affordable price, all for under $100,000. But after a decade of trial and error, 
Apple's billion-dollar baby turned out to be the biggest failure of the decade. But why did their big plan fail? For a plan as big as this, it is clear that Apple could not achieve this alone. And that is where the real problem began. Amidst numerous negotiations and discussions, Apple handpicked a team of automotive gurus to spearhead Project Titan. From Tesla alumni like David Nelson and John Ireland to Ford veteran Muja B, they had some of the industry's biggest engineers. In 2018, Doug Field from Tesla joined Apple's ranks, signaling a potential turning point. However, Field's departure for Ford three years later cast a shadow over Project Titan's future. With massive R&D costs, unexpected delays, and a plan filled with uncertainty, the project seemed unachievable. In the end, Apple's pursuit of a car-making ally became a saga of near misses and dashed hopes, leaving the tech company all alone in the project. Since the team couldn't deliver a market-ready product on time and with pressure mounting from the top brass, pulling the plug was the only logical option. However, anyone keeping tabs on the auto industry knows it's a tough nut to crack, especially when you're going up against big companies like Tesla, Volkswagen, and Mercedes. If you observe closely, there is a sentiment in the EV industry, and in fact, the competition is increasing with new brands like Rivian and Lucid, claiming to be the ultimate challengers to Tesla. Even Tesla itself is preparing for reduced sales in 2024 due to the slow EV market. Perhaps that's why Apple hit the brakes on its EV plans. And even though most people think it's a smart move, we can't keep a blind eye to the massive loss they have encountered. Meanwhile, the shipments of AI-powered smartphones are about to skyrocket, with projections exceeding 100 million units in 2024 and 500 million by 2027. So, while the EV road might be quite rough, Apple's decision to switch plans could be a big move in the world of technology. The next action. While the whole Project Titan story was shaped up with a tragic ending, there is quite good news for Apple Corporation. They have decided to dive into the world of AI technology. But is this a better option compared to their initial EV plans? In recent months, the demand for EVs has hit the brakes, with high costs fueling fierce competition among industry giants looking for market dominance. For Apple, moving away from its EV venture could be a strategic move, freeing up resources to double down on promising frontiers like spatial computing and generative AI. Plus, this is a chance for Apple to reclaim its throne from Microsoft, which recently grabbed the title of the most valuable company in the US. With Microsoft diving into generative AI and forming alliances with rivals like OpenAI, Apple needs to stay sharp. But there's another side to this story. While abandoning the EV project might seem like a strategic move, it is not without its risks and challenges. This year, Apple is setting its sights on the future with its VR-AR headset. The Vision Pro and their most recent innovation, Apple CarPlay. But that's not all. The tech giant is diving into the world of AI, exploring groundbreaking possibilities. Imagine AirPods with built-in cameras and augmented reality glasses, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And here's where Apple can make its mark in the AI world. It all depends on how the company positions its next iPhone, which would most likely become a game-changer in the tech world. Moreover, Apple is steering its focus towards the evolution of Apple CarPlay, a digital co-pilot with modern driving experiences. As dashboards transform into digital canvases, the demand for this AI will most likely increase. This upgraded software promises compatibility across all screen sizes while adapting effortlessly to different autonomous vehicles. From trip insights to climate control, weather updates and beyond, the new CarPlay comes with enhanced navigation, fuel management, and vehicle checkup. While Apple may not be rolling out futuristic rides, its imprint on the automotive world remains permanent, with CarPlay already integrated into 98% of new vehicles. As drivers prioritize high connectivity, CarPlay emerges as a massive factor in their purchasing decisions, influencing nearly 80% of prospective buyers today. Even though we didn't get to see a car product from Apple, 
Have you ever thought of how Apple cars would be if they were actually made? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section. Also, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.